Hi, and welcome to Ukulele Lessons Easy 1B. Uh, we're going to get started and uh, get you into playing some songs here. Uh, we're going to be playing two songs coming up very shortly, uh, Long Long Ago and Buffalo Gales. And I want to talk about a few things before we do get started. And keep in mind, these are some important things. Now, for the lessons and the course, always remember to preview the music first. Okay, so you want to, what you want to do is before you even play, okay, one of the things that you want to do is you want to preview the music. Look at the music first, make sure that you understand it, you can play all the chords. Okay, for instance, the, one of the first songs coming up is uh, Long Long Ago in your music book on page number nine. So you notice that the the signature in the front is 4-4 four, four over here, so that's uh, common time. We talked about it in a previous video. And the chords are pretty easy. It's only C and G7, okay? You also want to notice that there's a rest at the very end. And that basically means that you're going to stop playing on that beat. And we'll go over that in a second. Uh, we'll go over that later on some more. Um, the last drum will probably be over here on that on this first beat and then you stop singing and playing on that last beat Okay, so some of the things you want to keep in mind is that the main thing is that when you're previewing the music You want to make sure that you are familiar with all the chords And you can play them before you start playing the song and also on page 12 The second song that we'll be playing is uh, Buffalo Gals Okay uh, the chords for the song are basically C, C and G7, so it's all pretty easy. And nothing hard about it. Uh, do notice that there's a rest at the ending of the song. Once again, it's the same thing as the previous song long, long ago, where you're gonna stop playing and stop singing. And that last note there, uh, you'll probably stop your strumming and maybe just hold your singing note. Okay. Now there's a rest in, inside here in about the middle of the page. Um, you can just kind of ignore that. The rest right inside here, I didn't highlight it. So you can kind of ignore that. Uh, but if as you get better, you should kind of take notice the, the rest and the, how the music goes and try to pay attention to it. Okay, now these first couple of songs are to get you familiar with the, uh, the chorus and getting you up to speed. If you are in my, if you, you, if you were in my previous course and you feel that this is kind of easy already, you can skip this tutorial and jump out to the next tutorial. However, if you're taking this course for the first time and some of these things I'm talking about are, are still just a little bit new to you, then I suggest you stick around, learn these techniques because I, I won't be going over these techniques as much as we go through the course. So maybe take some notes, mental notes, and just make it a part of your uh, playing style and just your, your music habit. Okay, next. For these next two songs only, that means for Long Long Ago and Buffalo Gales only, we're gonna be doing downward strums, downward strums. And you can, this is basically to find your strum zone. So, we're going to be down, using downward strums, either <clears throat> a thumb strum or a finger strum, and we're going to be f finding our, str our strum zone. For instance, uh, in a finger strum, a free finger strum, once again, we talked about finding our strum zone within three frets, wherever the three frets may be, and try to choose your strum zone somewhere uh, on the, uh, the, the, the neck of the ukulele that's on the, the soundboard right here. So in other words, your three frets anywhere from here to here. Now if you have a smaller ukulele, well you probably don't have a whole lot of choice and you may have to just do your strum zone right about there, okay? If you have a small ukulele, it doesn't quite have the neck going this far. Okay, and you can also use a strum zone, I mean also use a, th a thumb strum on this song. Two strums, free finger, all down, locating your strum zone within three frets or your thumb, free thumb strum. Okay, and I'll be using both of those to get you started. Uh, once again, for um, 
students have who have already taken my previous course, you may use any one of the five scrums that was uh, uh, learned in the previous course. And then, so don't forget to always tap your foot. Whenever you're playing, you're always tapping your foot, keeping time with the music, keeping in time for yourself so you're playing the song in time. Okay, uh, when you're ready, move on to the next tutorial and we'll see you at the next lesson.